you with the vote, Thank all right? You. Up next, here is Phil. I am going to be singing Tobacco Road. I was born in a trunk. Mama died and my daddy got drunk. It's a brilliant song. A lot of people have covered it. The reason that I chose it was just because of how fun it is to sing. I love Tobacco Road. I would say from the British Invasion songs, Phil chose one of the great songs to sing. You know, for his voice, it's like right in his pocket. He can, he can wail up there. Ah. It's got life in the song, so if you've got a song that's got life in it, that's stay with that. It's a great performance of that song. I've never heard it sung as good as that. Not many people can deliver the song and make you believe it. And I believed him, so he, he should go far. I think the audience will like him. This was a hit for the Nashville teens in 1964. Singing Tobacco Road, here is Phil Stacy. I was born in a trunk. My mama died and my daddy got drunk. They left me here to die road in the middle of Tobacco Road. Rusty shack, all I have was a hanging on my back. Only you know how I love this place on Tobacco Road. We're gonna leave, get a job with the help and the grace from above. Save some money again, rich I know. It. Bring it back to Tobacco Road. Bring down a man and a gray, blow it up, start all over again. Build a town meet, run the show, give the name Tobacco Road. Tobacco Tobacco Yo, Phil, you had a good time up there, didn't you, dog? That was good, yes, sir. right? Let it all out, let it hang out right. on the stage. Right, let it hang out. Buddy. It was a pretty good performance to me. There were a couple pitchy spots, but in the end, I always like your upper register because it's really strong, and you got all those turns. You got the falsetto and stuff. So, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was pretty good for me, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I actually think it was a real good choice of song. Stop it, Simon. Thank you. I do uh, feel like there were some, some parts that were pitchy, but I think the the emotion of the song. You were right there having fun. And I liked hearing the various ranges of your voice and how you played it off. I thought you actually had a good performance. Thanks. <laughs> Phil, uh, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't crazy about it. I thought it was, um, it was kind of um, what I would call a third division bar band performance. I actually didn't find it believable because I don't hear any grit in your voice, and I think you need grit in your voice to be able to pull a song like that off. I'm just so, starting at the screen. Well, you were a bit, but I think you've got a problem right now, because I don't know what advice to give you, because I think you are, you, you, you're being outsung by, by a lot of the singers, and that, and that had to be believable, and it wasn't believable, and you may have a problem tomorrow. Bill Stacy, guys. You know, last week, you were in that bottom three, and I sent you back to safety. How did that sort of affect you preparing for tonight? Um, it, you know, it, it certainly put a little more tension on me. I felt like I really had to bring it to get into that top ten, and I, I, that's what I tried to do. I, I picked a song that I knew I'd enjoy singing, and I had fun. Did you guys have fun? I had fun singing for you. 
party. And good luck, all right? Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Good to see you, man. For Phil, it's 1-866-IDLE-06, 1-866-436-5706, or you can text the word VOTE to 5706. Phil Stacy, ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Thanks, you guys. All right, that's it for the moment. When we come back, Jordan Sparks belts out some basti.